Hey, what is up, everybody? This is your boy AJ Trip. Come at you with a reaction video. This one is a top 10 dumbest tweets, part 48. From my good friends from over at Most Amazing Top 10. So let's go ahead and let's check this one out as they ride the wave on down to part 50. You are not imagining this. This is not a dream. After many months, Dumbest Tweets has finally returned. I thought it was over. I'm ashamed to say. I honestly did. It was getting harder and harder to find some really dumb tweets on Twitter. Somehow, I had exhausted the supply. But you guys kept requesting that I continue. So the other day, I thought I'd just have a look, you know? And amazingly, it's been so long since the last video that there are now fresh dumb tweets that I have never seen before. It's kind of like leaving a farm for a while to come back and find new crops to harvest. <laughs> Weird reference. My name is Danny Burke, yes, and this no really is the Top 10 Dumbest Tweets, part 48. Just to let you guys know, we actually have a brand new channel called Most Amazing Top 10 Hindi. It's the same as our channel here, but it's going to be catering to our Indian viewers, the videos in both English and Hindi. It's going to be hosted by a brand new host as well. That's right. Not me, Landon, or Rebecca, a new mystery host. Who's it going to be? They're actually going to be appearing on this channel as well soon so that you guys can say hello before we take over our Hindi channel. Stay tuned for their big reveal or perhaps you already know who they are. Either way, check out the channel in the description box below and subscribe so that you're ready for when the channel finally begins. Starting off at number 10 now, we're saying statistics show that teenage pregnancy drops significantly after the age of 20. No shit. Really? <laughs> Does it? That is truly fascinating. You mean to tell me that there aren't many cases of teenage pregnancy in people aged 20 or older? What about a 62-year-old teenager? Huh? What about a 39-year-old teenager? Are you telling me they aren't even teenagers? This is groundbreaking stuff. Come to think of it, I have never heard of a teenager older than 20 who's got pregnant. Maybe leave your theories on that in the comment section. Next up at number 9 now, they should move that deer crossing down on Route 11. It's a terrible place for them to cross. <laughs> Amazing. I love this one so much, I want it framed on my bedroom wall. This person thinks that when they see a deer crossing sign, that's where deers have agreed to cross the road. Like the deers even put the sign up themselves to be like, hey, this is where we're going to cross busy roads, so just slow down, okay? No, they obviously put the sign there because that's just where deers happen to cross the road. Do you think that moving the sign down the road is going to make those deer cross there instead? I just, uh, I just love this one. If any of you guys do want to get it framed for me and, you know, give it to me so I can put it on my wall, that's a nice little Christmas idea for you to get me. You'll ever wonder if we're going to run out of gravity. I've heard of shortages before. They say that we're running out of oil. They say that bees are going extinct. Sometimes yeah. there are water shortages if it gets really hot. But gravity, I've never thought, thing. oh dear, I'm a little bit short today on gravity. I must go and get some more gravity later on or uh, I'll float into space. I don't know. I'd hate to worry about gravity running out like this person, as if we don't already have enough things to worry about in this day and age. This person is also living life with the absolute fear that gravity will just run out one day. I wonder if they sit at home and try and conserve their gravity, you know, save it, only use a little bit here and there, and only if they absolutely need to. What am I talking about? <laughs> Next number seven now, we are asking, why don't homeless people just oh, buy houses? Genius. Well, there you go. They just solved the housing crisis with this. With something like this one, I almost hope it's not real. Do you know what I mean? That will give me some faith in humanity. I don't want to believe that there are people out there who think that a homeless person can have a home if they just get up and go and get one. Unfortunately, it seems like there are people out there who think like that, and I have to accept that. Moving on now to number six, and we have a space one. There's always a space one in these videos. It's great. This one reads, I f love Pluto. I don't care that it is a moon or a dwarf star. I will always remember it as the planet named after Mickey Mouse's dog. <laughs> okay, so I admire their passion for Pluto. I respect that. It's small. It's the furthest planet from the sun. And it got downgraded from being an actual planet. It's a tough life for Pluto. But I'll tell you one thing. It wasn't named after Pluto the dog, aka Mickey Mouse's dog. It was definitely the other way around. If we're talking about Pluto though, I have a much deeper topic to discuss. So Pluto is an actual dog, right? He's an actual dog on all fours. And yet one of Mickey's best friends is Goofy, also a dog, but he wears clothes and walks around on two legs. 
what is all that about? Something weird is going on there. I've been distracted again, haven't I? Next about number five now, Egyptians speak hieroglyphics. Duh. Oh. Well, that's new. I always thought people in Egypt mostly spoke Arabic, but no, they apparently speak hieroglyphics. The writing system used in ancient Egypt. Yeah, people in Egypt just walk up to each other and literally say, bird eye, river eye, squiggly line. That actually sounds quite fun. One day I might do a whole video where I just speak in hieroglyphics. Try and go for the record for most subscribers lost during one video. At number four <laughs> spot now, we are asking, is pepperoni a meat or a vegetable? <laughs> We've reached a sad point as a society. If people don't know that pepperoni is a meat, I don't know what world this person is living in. I would be so freaked out if I was driving past a farm and just saw thousands of pepperoni sausages sticking out of the ground, ready for the <laughs> farmers to harvest. And there's like little slices hanging from the trees. I'm sure some people out there love the sound of that, but yeah, we've got to get something straight here. If you have pepperoni pizza, that is not one of your vegetables for the day. I'm no expert nutritionist, but I'm pretty sure about that one. Next up, number three now. Do you know a kid born in 2010 is now 18 years? Let that sink in. If you're instantly confused about how this person has come to this conclusion, they've helpfully provided their workings. They continue. I never thought I would need to explain a basic math, but since we are here, kid born in 2010, now is 2018, so you add the 10 to 8 equals 18. Simple math. So the kid is 18 years in 2018. Simple. This might be the first time in my life that I've seen an explanation that actually confuses me even more. I literally feel dumber for even reading this one. Of course, there is a year that people born in 2010 will turn 18, but that year is 2028. So if you're watching this in 2028, then this tweet is technically true for you. I'd also like to take this opportunity to apologize on behalf of the past. I'm sorry we let you down. Not all of us were this dumb back in 2018. So yeah, sorry. I also hope the future's nice. What's the, uh, what's the weather like? I don't know. Moving on to number two now, we are asking, can planets be gay? Amazing. This is the final question that all astronomers are trying to answer out there. And you know what? Sure, planets can be gay, planets can be straight, planets can have any sexual orientation they want, or even none at all. Why not? What do you guys think Mars is, or Neptune, or Mercury? If you're wondering why NASA hasn't sent astronauts back to the moon since the 1970s, it's because they're working on solving this problem. Stay tuned for the answer. And finally, number one now, we're talking <laughs> twins. If a pregnant woman gives birth to two babies, if one comes out at 11.58 p.m. 31st of December 2017, and the other comes out at 12.03 1st of January 2018, are they still twins? Short answer, yes. Long answer, yes. Yes. <laughs> I think this one comes from people thinking twins have to share the same birthday. Obviously, a lot of them do. They're usually born within minutes or sometimes hours of each other. But sometimes, yeah, they can be born on two completely different days. This person has actually gone one step further, though, and made it so that these fictional twins are born in two different years. Yeah, they're still twins. Babies don't care about our date system, okay? The calendar isn't built into the universe. We created it. Babies don't care about the calendar. All the sentences I thought I would end this video on, I did not expect that. But the end of the video has been reached. That was part 48. It's been a long time coming, I know. Even though the series has been away for a while, we are still technically on the road to 50. If you want that to continue, put hashtag road to 50 in the comments and also hashtag part 49. If I see enough people that want more dumbest tweets, then I will do that very, very soon for you guys. All right, and that's it for this uh, edition of Most Amazing Top 10 Dumbest Tweets. I thought that, that, that one was actually okay. It was, it was not like some of the last ones I've seen. Some of the other ones were definitely incredible. But, it, you know, like, like, like he said, he's, uh, you know, it, it, you know it, it, I, I was about to say there's, there's not a lot of dumb on Twitter anymore, but if you've been on Twitter, you know, they can be, they, you know, they can be a lot of dumb on Twitter and not be, you know, this type of dumb, <laughs> you know. It can be other type of dumb. So, put your comments down below to more what you guys think. Make sure you go over and you subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10. Uh, they are doing, not only are they doing like, uh, Top 10 Dumbest Tweets and Top 10 Dumbest 
Facebook posts and all that other stuff, but they are also doing like some other crazy stuff over there. So make sure you go over there and check it out. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. This is your boy AJ Trip signing off. As always, be good to each other, y'all. Be careful out there. And I am out.